Hello, my name is Tori Campbell. You are joining me live in Paris. We're just outside the convention center where we've been live streaming for the last two days. That's where the Paris Motor Show is being held. And if you've watched any of the live streaming so far, you will know that a huge part of the motor show this year across the board is all about e-mobility and electric drive. And Mercedes-Benz have really highlighted that on their stand. In fact, they've launched a whole new product range, the EQ range. You may have heard uh, the phrase EQ generation. Uh, so it's a very, very exciting time here in Paris. And today we're doing something a little bit different. They've let me loose on the streets of Paris and we're going to go for a little drive. And uh, we're going to take this beast that you can see behind me. Now underneath here, you've got a three liter V6 turbocharged engine. However, that obviously doesn't really quite fit in with the old whole ethos of electric drive. This car has something a little bit different, and there are a few telltale t uh, signs, including the blue trim in the headlights that you can see there, the blue brakes in the wheels, and the little blue badge, which basically means this car also has an externally charged battery, allowing it to travel up to 30 kilometers, totally emission free. The great thing about this car is the two, the combustion engine and the externally charged batteries have a seamless integration to allow for optimum efficiency when driving. So some of the features of this car that allow that to happen include the braking system, the recuperation energy braking system. That means that if you're going downhill or using the brakes, for example, the car will recuperate that energy itself. So essentially you're building the energy storage in the battery whilst moving along. You don't even have to stop to recharge for that one. And something else that's really clever is the intelligent hybrid energy system management. It's quite a mouthful. Let me just explain that. That uses the data from the satellite navigation that you have on the command online and taking that data it can decide whether to charge or discharge the battery depending on the driving environment where you are and what the roads are like that is so clever I love that uh, so it needs to be charged of course we're going to begin by charging that battery here let me show you actually just how simple it is to charge these electric vehicles it's amazing I've got a little uh, system down here so if you come down with me here we've got there we go there's your plug you probably recognize that that's obviously a european club plug that can plug into uh, a battery at home in your garage so you can charge your car there and then of course this end pops into the car let me show you how easy this is of course we're doing this live there you go open that up open that and then we just pop the end straight in there and there you go your car is charging away, obviously, once that's plugged in. So what we're going to do is get this car charged up and we're going to take it on a little drive. Do you fancy coming on a road trip with me? Make sure you join me. We're going to be live again on Facebook a little bit later on, tackling the Paris traffic. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Make sure you join me live in the car and I'm going to be answering as many of your questions as I can. So if you've got any questions about the S500e or any questions about anything that you've seen in the motor show so far uh, on the Mercedes-Benz stand that we've been looking at, make sure you drop me a line with those questions just in the comment box on the Facebook page or on my Twitter, uh, uh, Tori Campbell, and we will be answering your questions shortly. Join me on a road trip. Don't go anywhere.
Hello, you are joining us. Hello, you're joining us live here from the uh, S500e. We are driving through Paris. Uh, hi, if you're watching us, we are playing out live at the Paris Motor Show on the big screens. And of course, if you're joining us on Facebook or YouTube as well. Good to have you here. Um, Ah, it feels a bit weird driving, you know, with the live stream going on. I feel a little bit nervous. Not as nervous as I'm sure the whole camera team. It's okay, boys. I normally only drive on the other side of the road. Um, actually, that's a good point. We've got the whole crew in here. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. There you go. <laughs> they are here. Um, because it is such a spacious car. We are in um, one of the biggest sort of um, limousines or sedan, luxury sedans um, on the uh, that Mercedes have. And that's a really good point um, because, of course, we're talking about e-mobility. We're talking about electric drive, um, driving efficiently. And this just proves that you don't have to get rid of any of those creature comforts that you think that you may need to uh, when driving in that sort of uh, mode in fact the boys here look I'm going to show you this very quickly before I start talking about the uh, electric motor the boys here they've got the massage on they've got the massage heated seats are you having a good time boys yes yeah. <laughs> okie dokes so we are in um, hey we're in Paris let's uh, go on a little road trip and find something quintessentially Parisian Let's see what we can find. Um, right, so we said if you had any questions to let us know, and I will try and answer them whilst driving around. Um, I think one of the main questions that um, a lot of people were saying is with a car of this size, with a car with all this onboard tech and luxury and comforts that come with it, can you actually drive totally electrically? Which um, the answer is yes. In this one, in this particular one, you can drive up to uh, 30 kilometers, but actually it's quite limitless really because it's plug-in hybrid you can switch between the two because of course you've got the um, combustion engine on board here as well a three liter uh, six cylinder turbocharged combustion engine to be exact and that kind of flips between the two and uh, the battery the external battery that you can uh, externally charge or it can be charged via the engine as well so let's have a little look at the different driving um, sort of programs that you can put it in and I'll try and explain a little bit more here we go you can see here the energy flow I'm going to try and explain a little bit more while we're driving along um, just how that works so to begin with you've got your uh, four different modes and if I can just get to Thomas to have a little look here uh, you can see the different driving modes oh I'll bring it back up again so you've got hybrid there you have e-mode you have e-save and you've got charge charge is actually not highlighted oh it's gone again charge isn't highlighted because we're on a hundred percent charge so if um, I was to put it into hybrid that is when you are using your engine and the car uh, will decide how to best use the energy so you have optimum uh, driving efficiency so it might switch between the engine and then the battery and what I will do is as soon as this light turns to green we'll be able to see the energy flow here uh, when this, when the car first starts it will be in battery mode um, it's it's lovely and silent and actually um, it's um, it's very comfortable to drive this it's it, here we go as I go you can see it's um, got a seamless transition between the two you, you couldn't tell um, how you were driving apart from the fact that it's got this lovely just ambiance about it it's nice and silent here we go so we can have a little look at the energy flow ah we're stopped at traffic lights again <laughs> you can see a go can you see the gorgeous uh, fruit and veg sand a little bit of scenery for you oh we're on green we can go so here we go we can see the energy flow here you can see that at the minute the energy flow is coming from the battery there we go the arrow is going from the battery into the engine and then onto the rear wheels now if I just put my foot on the brake you can see that it's recharging from the wheels my foot on the brake I don't want to hold up too much traffic uh, it, back in and um, back into the engine and then charging up that battery as we're going along so let's change on to e-mode so e-drive that is um, using pure electric so we are 
using purely power from the battery and actually over here on the dashboard you can just see the amount of battery uh, power that I'm using and then when I take my foot off the accelerator you can see that the battery is then back falls back into charging mode which is great because when you're driving along you can ensure um, that you're using your car efficiently you're using the battery efficiently there um, okay let's move it on e-save uh, this is when you want to save your battery so if you've got a certain amount of charge in your battery and you want to save that for example you're doing a lot of motorway driving a lot of highway driving and then you know that you're going to be driving within um, a town or a city you can uh, go into that mode that is going to save your battery ready for when you're driving around the uh, smaller towns and cities so let's do a little uh, turn around here um, I'm going to actually put it into e mode so we can be driving purely uh, on that battery totally emission free which is fantastic in a car like this um, okay so I think when we pop over this bridge here whoops you might see something that is uh, that will prove that we're in Paris look at that lovely gorgeous the Eiffel Tower there in fact I think we'll head towards that way so I can get a selfie in front of it obviously so other questions that were coming in um, we're talking about range actually um, at the power sh at the uh, power show at the motor show they've got the power charging uh, stations there for you to have a look at and Mercedes are working towards shorter charging times and longer uh, distances that you'll be able to reach on that battery that is what the aim is for and that is what they're working toward and in fact in in the uh, show and if you're watching online from Facebook or on YouTube then make sure you have a little scroll through and go and find some of the earlier films that we did with our live EQ talks because we have a look at the concept car it's spectacular it's so gorgeous it's uh, pulling really pulling in the crowds there and actually uh, Mercedes are hoping that um, in the future they're going to be looking at ranges pure purely on electric power of up to 500 kilometers which is amazing it's astonishing and the um, the concept car they have there which is an SUV uh, style which is rather interesting especially for an all-electric car that's uh, amazing in itself they are hoping that that is going to be driven on the roads or something very very similar towards the end or before the end of this decade which is astonishing there is the future of cars people love it in fact the whole motor show has really been aimed towards electric driving um, eco driving efficiency and it's been a an amazing place for Mercedes to launch their new brand new product range entire project product range uh, which is the EQ range okay so here we go we're gonna drive towards the Eiffel Tower stick with me have a little look take in some of the uh, Parisian views <laughs> In fact you can see here on the screen as well that um, like I said before you've got your different um, assistance packages um, lane assist for example it's giving me a little nudge on the steering wheel when I um, <laughs> nip over the lane all things that we've become so accustomed to within the s-class uh, of Mercedes-Benz you don't have to give up or sacrifice any of that when you want to drive um, on an electric motor there it is she's looking gorgeous I'm so glad it's a nice day uh, a couple of the other questions that came in actually if you scroll back we had a look there was a world premiere at the motor show um, that was for the E all terrain uh, that's kind of like a merge between the E-class and uh, an SUV so um, the uh, driving abilities, capabilities of that car are astonishing, they really are. Uh, that's worth a look at if you uh, nip back through some of the videos. I'm just in everybody's way.
Yeah, that is due for release uh, around March time. So um, I know somebody asked about that if you want to get your order in. Okay, so we are heading up towards the Eiffel Tower. I think it's important to say just what a um, glorious drive it is in here. It is so comfortable, it's so lovely to drive. Once again, we've um, we've been filming over the past oh two days now live EQ talks from the uh, from the Paris Motor Show. I hope you've enjoyed joining us. We've really uh, loved having you on board. Um, and make sure if you've missed any of them, you scroll back and just see what was on show here at the Paris Motor Show because it's fair to say Mercedes have put on a spectacular um, showpiece. It was really, really great. Thank you so much for having me on board at Mercedes. And um, I have loved looking around and it really fills me with absolute joy and excitement to see the future of um, the car industry right in front of my eyes. And just as we head right up towards the Eiffel Tower, I am going to sign off and um, say thank you once again for joining me and hopefully we will meet again soon. I'm gonna enjoy uh, the rest of the afternoon here in Paris. <laughs>